I'm really excited about it. Let's get into it. So some of the science behind music, and I'm not a professor and I'm not a scientist and I'm not a doctor, but there's so much great information and documentaries and articles out there about the ability music has to bring people together. So I'm going to touch on that three things really quickly. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is the parts of the brain that we activate when we're performing and listening to music. So um, most of us spend most of our day in the part of our brain that we call the amygdala. Okay, so that's what's known as the caveman brain. And the reason it's called the caveman brain is that back, you know, thousands of years ago or, you know, however long ago, cavemen, that, that was all we had in our brain was, was the amygdala. Um, and that was, and, and the, the reason we live in the, that part of the brain is that's all about survival. So it's about, you know, in their case, it would have been about escaping from lions, um, fighting each other for, for, for territory or each other's food uh, and finding food. So it's all about survival. So that's fine. We all need to be in that part of the brain during the day. It's when we're, you know, tying our shoelaces, getting, trying to get to work on time, doing, doing things that require just, um, you know, very routine uh, things. But what the problem with that is when we're in that mode, we're very critical, we're very fearful, we're very stressed. We're always, you know, we're running. We're going to be late for work. What's my excuse going to be? Or someone's going to tell me, ask me why I haven't done a job, and what am I going to say, or who am I going to blame? So it's not a particularly positive place that you want to be all the time. There's another part of the brain which is called the prefrontal cortex. Now this is the the part of the brain I want to be in as much as possible. Uh, it's where we are problem solving. It's where we're being creative. It's where we're collaborating and working together. It's where we're thinking outside the box about new ways of doing things. It's the fun part of the brain. Uh, now to get to the prefrontal cortex, the quickest way to do this is to release oxytocin in the brain. If you're releasing oxytocin, you're activating the prefrontal cortex. What's the, one of the easiest and quickest and legal ways to release <laughs> oxytocin? Uh, it is by listening to music, performing music, and going to concerts. Uh, it's it's simply that. So when you listen to music, when you sing, when you, if you're in a choir, you're releasing oxytocin, and it gets you. And and when you're creating songs, it actually gets you in the prefrontal cortex, which is where you want to be. So that's a bit about the brain. Um, the second part thing I want to talk about is social bonds. So if you go back even further before cavemen to our um, chimpanzee ancestors, um, now you, oh, and if, even if you go to the zoo right now, you'll notice that they pick. Um, you'll, you've ever, have you ever seen they sit next to each other and they pick bugs off each other? I'm not sure if anyone's ever noticed that before. This, if not, check it out on YouTube. Um, now, that's not a grooming thing. I mean, obviously, there's an element of that which is about grooming. But the reason they do that is when, by doing that, they actually release dopamine. So dopamine is known as the, the cuddle chemical. I know there's a lot of people in the chat box talking about they really miss hugs. So that's a that, that's a nice uh, little segue. So the cuddle chemical is what is is dopamine, and when we release dopamine, we strengthen bonds with with other people in within our community, within our friends, within our family. So you, you re, when you hug someone, you do release dopamine. Right now we can't hug people. So what's another way to release dopamine? You guessed it, music. So when you go to a concert and you listen to a concert with other people and you're there in person, you're releasing dopamine and you're strengthening the bonds with those people around you. If you're in a choir and you're singing and performing with people in a choir, you're releasing dopamine and strengthening those bonds. If you're in a band, same thing. So um, it's why bands can often not necessarily get along or like each other, but they can perform and tour for years because they have this bond almost like their family. So they don't always get along, but there's this unspoken bond and love that's released, which is created by the release of dopamine. And the final thing I want to talk about is music and memory. So um, I, I can't really talk to anyone right now, but what I like to do to prove this point is ask if anyone can tell me what they had for lunch last Thursday afternoon, which um, normally would take a while to figure out. These days, maybe it's a bit easier because we're eating, I'm eating the same thing almost every day, salad for lunch. Um, but it, it's quite a hard, difficult thing to do. I don't remember what I had for lunch yesterday, let alone, so there we go, Ayaz says tacos. Taco Thursday, I like it. Fun, so that, that's a tough question to answer, but if I ask someone what was their favorite song in, year, in high school or in their final year at school or the first song that they ever learnt, I can guarantee that most of you could sing every word of that song. I, I remember the first song I ever learned in, in preschool. I could still sing it word for word. I remember the first song I had with my, you know, first girlfriend in my teenage years. It was it was Nelly and Kelly, actually. It was, uh, I met this chick and she just moved right up the block from me. And so uh, why do we remember these things so well? Because music and memory are so inextricably linked. And why is that important right now? Because we can actually use music to trick ourselves and trick our mind into being in a more positive 
uh, time and place in our lives. So, for example, and I'll talk about some tips later, but when we listen to albums from our, I don't know, when we went to college or when we were doing a gap year or traveling around the world and you listen to those albums that you played all the time, I remember the first time I heard the Radiohead album, The Benz. I just moved to London. I was 17 years old. I didn't know anyone. And that was a, that album really made me feel like more comfortable and like I wasn't alone in the world. So that's why music and memory are so important right now. So um, that, that that's the top line um, uh, science stuff. I want to move on now real quick because we have such little time. Let's make some music. All I need in the audience is for um, the first four, first three or four people that give me a um, any any letter between A and G. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Give me one letter each. We've got a B. We've got a C. We've got an E and a C. Okay, cool. Um, so let's go E. So was, what was it? It was B, B, C. Oh, there we go. G. And, and let's go down to the E there. Perfect. And then back to the B. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Sounds a bit like um, Coldplay, yellow. Look at the stars. Um, okay, so I'm going to use those chords to create a completely original song. This might be some sort of world record songwriting experience here, guys. Um, we're moving very quick, so we're going to come back to the song in a little while. Let's talk about some tips around you can do at home to stay connected, to stay positive, uh, and to increase productivity. I call this the LCD sound system because I've stole, because I love the band LCD sound system, but also it's a lovely little acronym. Can you all see that? So uh, our acronym, some tips around the home, LCD, listen, create, do. That's the LCD song division sound system. So we're going to work through these really quick. Okay, listening. A couple of really nice tips, guys, um, that, that I do at home. Put on a whole album. Go Find a CD, find a vinyl, find a tape, whatever you've age bracket uh, or, or go on Spotify. The problem I have with Spotify is you often just find a song you want to listen to and then you hit um, shuffle all or, or it takes you on to other artists that you might like, which is great. But albums were released for a reason back in back in the day uh, and it was because artists really b were, were releasing what we, they call a body of work and it was meant to be one piece of art and it was meant to be a journey and it was so nice when you'd listen to a whole album in full. So go and find your favourite album and put it on and give yourself an hour to just go and sit and relax and whatever that album is, it'll take you back to some memories from when you first heard that album and discovered it and, this, and the reason we do that is we're trying to link music and memory and, and, and take our mind to positive mindsets and times and places in our lives so that's an easy one a couple more on listening um, go to go check out some live gigs online so everyone's streaming themselves right now doing live gigs uh, I'm doing it myself as in my, with a solo artist there's um, MTV unplugged at home if you, if you want to check out any websites are doing it um, People are doing it on their own Facebook pages. Lots of famous artists doing live concerts. Go and check them out. The reason I'm saying to do this is, even though you're not at a concert physically with other people, you are actually still strengthening social bonds by knowing that you can see a thousand other people are watching at the same time. You can comment and have a conversation with someone who's watching the same concert. You can also sometimes chat to the artist and they'll respond to you, which is pretty amazing. So you still can strengthen your social bonds and still feel connected even though you're physically not in the same place. Uh, I've got a lot of these tips, guys, and I know we're moving very quick, so um, you'll get my contact details at the end, and I've got a bunch more. Uh, create, and it's what we're about to do in a second, but there is no reason why you can't be creative at home. Okay, so the first one is a really easy one. You don't even need to actually do any, you know, artistic creation. Go on Spotify. Get, get get a group of friends together, or get your colleagues even better. Get your work colleagues if you if you if you got got a work team, and create a Spotify Spotify playlist of songs that you like to listen to while you work. So maybe not uh, ACDC or it depends what you're into, but. Uh, Get, get a uh, curator playlist. Get it going of songs you love to listen to while you're working. Why do we do this? This is this again. This is about creating social bonds with people at work and feeling connected. So you can, we do one at Song Division. You can go on. You can add them to that, and it's a it's a living, breathing playlist which is always changing. Um, but it's a nice way to share. Um, it's a great conversation starter. Share with people at your work. Oh, I can't believe you listened to 
you know, Guns N' Roses while you're working. I, I listen to classical music, and it's a nice way to start a conversation, and it's a nice way to explore and discover new music. Uh, and then, fo- and then, just on the create again, and something we're going to do in a minute. There's no reason why you can't every day sit down and set yourself a challenge of writing a short poem. I know that sounds silly, but no one has to hear it ever. It doesn't have to be any good. It doesn't matter what it is. I do it every morning. I, I, I try to every morning. I do it's what called eight lines a day. When I just get up and the first thing I try and do is write an eight line poem. It could be about anything. It could be about a dream I just had. It could be about the weather. It's just a way to get your brain active and thinking and um, and again and uh, unlock some of those parts of the brain that will help you through the day to work creatively, collaboratively, problem solve. Um, another one I'd love to do as a big group uh, in a minute is... Um, the, the final D, uh, D here is do. So uh, we're going to be creating an original song. But before we do that, do some there's some really simple breathing and warm-up exercises you can do at home. Do it in the shower. Do it whenever you want. There's no need to be embarrassed about it. A, a, a simple breathing exercise I learned at university. I've got a, a degree in classical voice um, from the Sydney Conservatorium of Music. And a simple breathing exercise I learned, rather than the breathe in for three, out for three, which some people do or whatever it is, um, is breathe all the air out you have in your in your lungs, hold that feeling of having no breath for five seconds, and then take a really nice natural breath. And I do that three times in the morning. So we can do it as a group right now. We're going to blow out all the air we have in our body. Hold it for five seconds. Take a nice big breath. It's a really nice way to let your body naturally take the perfect breath. You don't need to worry about, am I taking enough breath in? Your body will take the amount of breath it needs to survive naturally. So I do that every morning to get going. And then I simply, in the shower, hum sirens. If you don't want to sing, you don't want to be loud, if you're embarrassed, all you need to do is hum some sirens in the shower. The um, the, the humidity in there will will naturally warm your voice up anyway, but it's simple, just a simple siren. So, it actually feels really good and you can't actually do it without smiling so that's a proof that you're uh, releasing oxytocin in your brain because it's something about it just makes you feel amazing uh, so t- some uh, some real simple tips there guys as well and and I've got a million and one of these so reach out to me if you'd like some more examples of things you can do around the house that's our LCD sound system okay we write, we're going to write a song here what's the time how am I doing wow three minutes this thing goes so quick. I'm going to write the world's fastest song here, guys. I need some help. I've, got, I've called us the edgy rock stars, rocking, rocking the lockdown. Um, I need your help to fill out, to fill in the blanks. Times are crazy. Times are tough. Can someone, Richard, you might want to read them out for me. Times are crazy. Yep. Times are tough. Anyone got something that rhymes with that? Times are crazy. What were our chords again? B. Times are crazy. Times are tough. What do we got? And you guys can work ahead if you want. There's there's some simple things that you can do. Simple things that you can do. Times are crazy. Times are tough. Come on. What do I we got? Tough. You got rough. But yeah, if yeah. everyone puts stuff in the in the stuff. Stream, we'll times are crazy. That. Times are tough. You might be feeling a little rough. Has anyone got a whole line or just a word? You might be. Let's do that. You might be feeling a little rough. Okay, the next one. There's some simple things that you can do. There's some simple things that you can do. There's some simple things that you can do. Anyone? There's some simple things that you can do. That'll stop you from feeling blue. Richard's on fire. <laughs> That'll do. Okay, I'll, I'll, the next one you can, guys can start thinking about. You need connection in your life, and there's so many ways. Something that rhymes with ways. You need connection in your life, and there's so many ways. Oh, I'm going to use Kate's, actually. Let's pull together, me and you. Together, me and you. Uh, you need connection in your lives in so many ways. Come on. Quick, let's go, guys. Connection in your life in the so many ways. Ooh, yeah, get outside and feel those... Oh, to brighten up your day. Yeah, yeah. Just to... Um, to... To feel good and brighten. And then the next one is important. You look after yourself. I'm going to give you a clue. A great rhyme that rhymes with self is health. To feel good and brighten up your day it's important you look after yourself what do we got it's important you look after yourself put your worries on the shelf I love it on the shelf take care oh I like that actually I'm gonna go take care of your body and health 
body and health. We're going to be performing this in 90 seconds, guys. I know we're meant to be done. IMAX is making the world a better place. Something with place. And event peers are strong and stick together. I'm going to put peeps, actually. Event peeps. Um, what do we got? IMAX is making the world a better place. Bring a smile to your face. Yep. Face. Event peeps are strong and stick together. Come on, something that rhymes with together. What do we got? Yep, we all know this will soon be better. I will. Okay, that's it. Well done, everyone. Thank you for your help. Um, we will know this will soon be better. And now I'm going to perform it while trying to change slides as well. It's all happening here. All right, here we go. Thank you for the chords too. Yeah, times are crazy, times are tough. We might feel a little bit rough. There's some simple things you can do. Let's pull together me and you. You need connection in your life. And there's so many ways to feel good and brighten up your day. So important you look after yourself to take care of your body and health. Hit two, three, four. I'm X is making the world a better place. Yeah, we're bringing a smile to the people's faces. Yeah, the vent peeps, we're strong and we stick together. Oh no, that this will soon be better. <laughs> the world's fastest song ever written. Uh, thank you guys.